We made the wrong decision that night. As a result of that decision, trust has been broken between the police, DeFonte Miller, and the broader community. For that, on behalf of the Toronto Police Service, I want to apologize. That apology coming from the city's interim police chief after the force failed to notify the province's police watchdog in the case of a beating of a black teenager at the hands of an off-duty Toronto police officer. In retrospect and with the ability of hindsight and everything that I'm now aware of, I, I feel it was the wrong decision and the SIU should have been called. In his first press conference as interim police chief, James Raymer announced the Office of the Independent Police Review Director has completed a report focused on the force's duty to report to the Special Investigations Unit. Raymer vowing to revise procedures to implement robust legislation for reporting SIU matters. From now on, the Toronto Police will notify the SIU in all cases where a police officer has been involved in an incident that results in serious injury. The report from the OIPRD has not been released publicly. Raymer says it has been provided to DeFonte Miller's family and legal counsel. Mr. Miller's life has forever been impacted by the events of that evening. It was back in December 2016 when Durham police were called to a residential neighborhood in Whitby, where 19-year-old DeFonte Miller was assaulted by off-duty Toronto Police Constable Michael Terrio. The beating left Miller, who was arrested that night, with lifelong injuries, including blindness in his left eye, as well as a broken arm and jaw. The matter of DeFonte Miller and the Terrio brothers has been a complex case. Even with the recent verdict, the case is far from over. Raymer says Toronto police were notified of the incident that evening, but neither police force contacted the SIU. The SIU was only made aware four months later by Miller's lawyer. When asked why Toronto police didn't contact them. Still an investigation that um, uh, is, under going, is, is still underway. There's other aspects of the investigation that the OIPRD are, uh, must, re, must complete, and, and I can't comment on it. City News asked about Terrio's father, a senior Toronto police officer who was serving in the professional standards unit at the time. John Terrio's role in the investigation. Raymer would not comment, again citing the ongoing investigation. Back in June, a judge found Michael Terrio guilty of assault, but he and his brother Christian, who also faced charges, were cleared of the more serious charges of aggravated assault and attempting to obstruct justice. Their lawyers arguing they were stopping Miller from breaking into cars and stealing. Michael Terrio is awaiting sentencing and is currently suspended with pay. The case is not concluded. Uh, the, um, uh, the, the actual court matter that he's involved in or has not been completed and plus the, uh, uh, my understanding is uh, both counsel have appealed the matter to a higher, a higher level. In addition to the OIPRD's investigations, Waterloo Police have also been tasked with conducting an external review of how Toronto Police handled this case. I did reach out to DeFonte Miller's lawyer, Julian Faulkner, tells us that today's announcement and the report came as a surprise to them, but they are expected to make comment after they review this report. For City News, I'm Faisa Amin.